This is Cook's Flat Cabernet, and you can see that it almost looks as though it's wintertime here. Part of the issue is that this is the last block that we prune. Therefore, it's the last block to come out. But there's also a varietal difference in that Cabernet is the last one to push if everything were pruned at the same time. We're going to go see some other ones. We'll go to the other extreme, which is Chardonnay, and then we're going to go to Cab Franc, Riesling, and Merlot. This is Cook's Flat Cabernet, and you can see that it almost looks as though it's wintertime here. Part of the issue is that this is the last block that we prune. Therefore, it's the last block to come out. But there's also a varietal difference in that Cabernet is the last one to push if everything were pruned at the same time. We're going to go see some other ones. We'll go to the other extreme, which is Chardonnay, and then we're going to go to Cab Franc, Riesling, and Merlot. This is Chardonnay, and you can see how much further out they are. You can see flower clusters. Right there, that's a flower cluster. There's a flower cluster right there. Sorry to scramble your brains. Uh, here's another one. It's just coming out, but when you step back, you can just see how much bigger they all are. And when you look down the row, you can see that it's getting there. So we're off to the next variety. This is the Riesling, and you can see it's a little further behind. You can still see the flower clusters right there. Can we get it? Yeah. See right there, and then there's a other flower, two, two flower clusters. They're a month away from flowering, but Anyway, if you look at it, you can see that the Riesling is way ahead of the Cabernet, but way, eh, now way behind, a little bit behind the Chardonnay. And if you look over the vineyard, you can see that it's starting to green up, but it's got a long ways to go. And we're going to head down to the Merlot next. Okay, here's the Merlot, still April, <laughs> April 18th. And uh, you can see the Merlots probably as long as far as long as the Chardonnay was. A little bit behind, clearly ahead of the Riesling. And um, flower clusters aren't as developed here. Here they are here, see if I can bring it into focus. See, they're there. There's just uh, the uh, little things that still need to develop. And when you look down the row, you can see that it's getting pretty green and as we look up we can see the fire damage from those trees over there those are the redwoods and uh trying to shoot anyway they're just not growing very well they're not growing at all some of them some of them are pushing but anyway if you look over the venue you can see it's greening there's the next vine over and uh you can see it's starting to to do its thing and today's a warm day Warmest day of the year so far, but uh, next week is supposed to cool down. It's supposed to be in the high 70s today. And um, we like things to push in warm weather. And uh, that's what they're doing. They're pushing. They're you know, pushing is when they come out of, the, uh, out of their dormant stage. Thanks. Off to the next one. Here we're doing a variety, varietal, can't talk today, uh, five and six. This is the... Uh, Cabernet Franc, and you can look over the vineyard there. And then when we hone in on it closely, you can see that these are much further behind than the Chardonnay and the Merlot and the Riesling. But they're obviously further along than the Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, some of the buds have hardly even pushed yet. So way behind the Cabernet, or the uh, Chardonnay. And uh, there's a close-up of the Cabernet Franc. And then if we just lift our head a little bit up, we're gonna look at the Petit Verdot. And you can see just from across the row, it's further along than the Cabernet Franc. Uh, it's a younger vineyard, shouldn't matter too much. It would push a little, uh, younger vineyards push a little sooner than mature vineyards. 
um, but clearly it's uh, it's a little closer and I, what I'm going to do is stop here and then go over there and get our last one. Okay everyone, here's a close-up of the Petit Verdot, our last varietal, six of six. And you can see it's, uh, it's going right along. It's got a little lighter yellow-green to the leaves. Uh, here's a shoot right here. It's only got one flower cluster on it, right there. If we can focus in on it. Uh, it doesn't want to seem to focus. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, this is the Cab Franc. And if you look down the row, you can kind of see how green it is. And, um, and that's your viticulture lesson for Sunday, April 8th, 2021. Enjoy, everyone. Bye.